and welcome back to RSG Animal Crossing New Leaf, episode 9. like a little drop box I can just drop this off for him. Oh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Oh, these are rare fossils, not even an easy collection. I mean, if you weren't just staying here all the time, probably have to be fired, so... I can't pass off the boot then. Shall we? <clears throat> Wait, what? My dumbass and I Oh wait, did No. Oh I didn't see I honestly thought oh wait, oh, god damn it. Isn't there yeah, there's more. Fine, I'll do it now. <laughs> if only it was an item box. Oh wait, but that's not the big, um, fat one that I found. That has somehow eluded me. So is the bow tie like a uniform or is that actually part of his like feathers? Oh, this is saber tooth. It's more like saber teeth, am I right?
Have you ever seen the fall and they're rather sensitive to the heat of summer? See the mountains during summer and come down to the plains in cooler weather. Most body turns red when they mature, but their heads and thoraxes are brownish. The more yellowish color and are as red as the males, making them easy to tell apart. Huskoppers are typically known as pests that eat farmers crops, making them undesirable. <coughs> They're also edible, and boiling them in soy sauce is a typical way to preserve them in certain regions. Now, while they are generally green, their shells will turn a darker color when heavily crowded in groups. Wow, so he wasn't kidding about the soy sauce madness. Behave you. Said I got more insects than that, but I guess not. How careful do you have to manage grass like that for a museum? Actually, do any, um, museums actually do that? You'd think a couple would. No, actually, I've seen, uh, like, um, some animal, like, well, zoos, I think? Yeah. That do something like that. Where it's like a bird, yeah, like a big bird area, so it'll be a bir birds and, like, trees. And it's here for delicious white meat as well as your large size. They just something inedible, they open up their mouths and gills and violently shake their heads. They generally manage to expel the foreign material, though it is an effect of looking rather odd. Much like their freshwater cousins, he bites a strong pull, making them a great challenge for anglers. A flounder. Flounders are a rather flexible white fish that have both eyes on the left side of the body. They can reach free three feet in length and are commonly mistaken for dabs, a close relative. And they have an eye on each side, but as they age, their right eye maggots to the left side. Okay. Sooner as fish can change color to camouflage themselves in the seabed as a way for prey. What does it migrate, though? Is it painful? <coughs> they don't look like fish, but they still share a lot of distinct connections. Small dorsal fins and tail fins to swim, but in actuality, they're pretty bad swimmers. The tail fins are around seaweed or coral, so they won't float away with the current. When it's attached, they have plankton bait, a small shrimp that float by. It throws eggs in the male's pouch, putting the burden of child care on the male. I don't think either of those. Cushion carp. Fish and carp are a fairly easy fish for beginners to catch, but they're also popular with veterinary anglers. They're related to koi and can live up to 15 years, making them a great fish to keep in a pond. The last are seldom born, uh, so females significantly outcomer males, making populations suffer. Females can reproduce with males of some other species, so the problem is relatively temporary. It's a little odd, don't you think? Carp. This tough fish has uh, very long lifespans, capping out at ages of passing 100 years. So the man, one of their trademark features makes them relatively easy to identify. One of them eating water weed and bugs by sucking the food into the mouths. The teeth in the back of their throats help break down the shellfish for digestion. You know, tetra. Tetras get their name from the beautiful blue metallic lines on their bodies. Well, they're shy, gentle fish. Surprisingly, they're related to piranha, though very distantly. They have very sharp and narrow teeth and odd contrast to the beauty. They're delicate fish who tend to be very sensitive to cleanliness and temperature of water.
It can't be too late. Like, literally, it's only about four. Hey, bye, Daddy Watch Store. You need to talk with my older brother, Timmy. Come on, Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Oh, how can I help you? Oh, I mean, yes, I can buy these from you for a total, you know, 1280. What is this? Oh, I like milk. I milk a lot. You know, when it's not that natural stuff and it's actually just like the big gallons. Natural stuff smells so bad. Is this... I think it's just our home. Welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of One and Only Able Sisters. It's going. How about that? She always gets like that when she's focused on something. I was like, wow, he didn't even look at anything. I had a choice. I guess. Here's the thing, I don't even, like, Halloween's just such a, like, Halloween, Valentine's, all those are just, like, you know, and actually Christmas in a way. Or just like business holidays, pretty much. Like, hey, I'm came. Uh, what Hallmark? Let's make it a holiday, so you can buy stuff from us. Nook, how much do I owe you? Welcome, welcome. How oh, may I help you? Down payment. Got yeah, the money? Let's have a look, huh? Yes, yes, exactly. 10,000 bells. Does make me rather happy. There you go, very good. The money makes everything official and work in your house can begin at once. I'll choose a color you nearly bit hollow through. So, what color will be? I say let's do a blue house. Or a blue roof. <coughs> you like a blue roof, huh? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, got it. Uh, we'll make sure your house is ready to go by tomorrow morning. What else to tell you? Oh, yes, yes, of course, I must tell you about the house remodeling. House finished, I can help you update the exterior. Your home um, consists of uh, things on the outside, such as your roof, door, and fence. I'll explain your samples to have a look to, so you should come when you're going curious. The moment you must be looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, thanks much. He just pushes me out. Oh, I paid the down payment. I'll be able to move into my home tomorrow. Now that I think about it, yeah, down payment. That means I didn't pay off my entire mortgage. I just got my mortgage started. That's it. There's just like a little dump here. I mean, unless I want to just run around catching fish and insects all day. Um, um, that's pretty much about it. I just need to dispose some things. Hey, Fang. Yeah, my shop today is still something. Is that your plan? Help you. I brought in a boot. Oh, a boot. And by the time you have to pay a disposal fee to dump it. Only well, 80 bells, is that okay? I mean, I can just... Oh wait, yeah, isn't there trash cans that exist for this reason?
I mean, I can leave my 3DS on overnight. Yeah, I swear these weeds are breeding. Amazing. Got a migratory locust and migrate to a good spot. I'm not gonna go and turn that in though. Oh, best to go to gun. I feel so much cleaner now. Oh. Save and continue, and then... Did I not save and continue? Hmm. But anyways, that's gonna be for this episode, though, so we'll probably see you in another two months, so enjoy this video, you know what to do. See ya.